Whoa, it's happening! Oh, the State of the, of the Union. The oh my of the dear House God. Lord of heaven, have uh, I've never ever thought I would, in fact, both the speech uh, be so the elated just because first. everybody hates this Let's guy. I love, I love it, I love it, I love the fact that because he's such a winner. Ooh, Ooh, dear Jesus, uh, I wanted to hear from Donald Trump from the horse's mouth. What's what's his uh, like deal about DACA unit, that he wants to grant 1.8 million a uh, pathway to citizenship for uh, intruders, <laughs> people, uh, I don't care whatever you're saying, through no fault of my own, <laughs> uh, regardless, intruders, uh, has nothing to do with race. Someone come into my house in the middle of the night, freaking, you know, get out. I'm going to whack you over the head with a baseball bat. Uh, that's just really that severe. Uh, we're too naive. As for the Democrats, no sign at this point that the okay, leadership so is willing to work with the president. This is the beginning. Is a non That's also Rick Perry. I know this is my uh, a new hobby. Um, Distant myself from the tonight, liberal, so-called the Hollywood Korea. liberal the we'll uh, people there behind. They're so living behind the huge North walls, North security North camps, North and North bodyguards up the wazoo, and what a hypocritical thing. And John to uh, beat on Donald Trump, Trump, Trump when, when in fact I probably won't be able to go into in any of their house, Murrow Street, Michael Moore, or, uh, whoever else, Jimmy, my my best my best actor. What the hell? Jimmy Carrey. I don't know what to say. So while we wait, let's bring in our pretty ominous. Chris Wallace, host of Fox News Sunday, okay. Dana Perino. Okay, resume. <laughs> Woo! Who's that guy? Uh, all right, that's the president of the United States. God bless my president, Donald Trump. Have some balls. Stand up to those uh, thugs. Stand up to the thugs or the Schumers and the liberals and the George Soros and, and want to be down our doors to flood our country with uh, shithole people, alright, I said it, shithole, uh, yeah, if you're breaking into my country, you're one of the shitholes, uh, I don't care, huh, because, uh, you're considered a thug, a burglar, don't fucking break into my house, that's right, there's that new boss, what does he say, protect, protect my household, and all of you, you are still, so, look at that. There, on uh, look on with together. hatred. This is because you hate my country. Louis well, Gilbert fucking there, get out. A big supporter of the president, obviously, mm. behind uh, the president. People who hate us, they shouldn't be here. And Steve Scalise, the That's House the one thing that you have to realize that. Uh, as as here's a friend of mine I spoke the with, softball uh, the lady that consult me and uh, pray with me. She didn't know what the State of the Union is about. So this is sad. People live here for 30 years and don't know what. She said, what is the State of the Union? Is it addressed to the union boss uh, because she's from Hong Kong. Uh, you know, this is sad. That we never really explain that what America is all about. And I believe the State of the Union, uh, I am particularly really grateful this year, is addressed to our nation. It's addressed to... Uh, energy the household. The what is our agenda? So, is, so we have this captain, he's steering this that sinking that ship, the great Titanic, right? Obama had driven it off the cliff into the uh, glacier, the iceberg. In the so in order to tonight, turn this ship around, my God, he's taken on so much flat. Say, you know, so I'm what he's saying, he's, say, he's setting the tone for this house. If you're in America, you're in this household. You're not for us, you're against us. You're not for us, then get off the fucking boat. Uh, basically, really. I mean, it's not being unkind. That's just the way it is. A lot of people are here to infiltrate us, to hurt my country, to steal from my country. Have no fucking pride. Have a little pride. Oh, this is so cool. The first anniversary is such a big one. The staff has worked so hard, and they actually have.